Welcome back, everybody. An extended break there, as I think Vichy J Thunder just needed to calm down after their win. Yang needed to get rid of the adrenaline after the triple ravage that he ended the game yeah, with. That was that was quite crazy, actually. That was one of the more exceptional team fights that I've seen yeah. in a long time. And uh, for sure, VGJ can be happy about the first game. They're one and zero here in the matchup against Complexity, and uh, we're heading into game number two. And this is going to be elimination game if Complexity go down here. So they have to come up with something. And uh, so far, let's look at what they're doing. The Elder Titan is banned out. Omni Knight is banned out. And Night Stalker is removed as well. Same respect still being given by VGJ that they gave in the first game. Yeah. And Chandras and Chen both being removed. They don't want to play against these heroes. And Tusk is the first pick. Along with that uh, that tiny ban again. So same, mm -hmm. same from VGJ Thunder, exactly. Uh, out of these bans, as well as complexity. Uh, is my game bugged? No, there we go. Just the Tusk is bugged. So VGJ start the game, or start the draft, with a Lycan again, but this time not the Shadow Shaman, instead the Bane coming out from them. Well, complexity... <clears throat> uh, yeah, where Bane, do they go from here? Bane is a little bit more lane-oriented, making sure that you win the lanes, whereas Rasta... The downside about picking the Rasta early the way they did in the previous game is that he doesn't do too well against Ur uh, Urspeed. Well, that too, but Tusk, in this situation, he can get rolled on and can quickly come into a struggle. Oh, look at that. That's the change up from Complexity. A hero that has been last face banned against Complexity mm. uh, in, you know, not just uh, the previous game, but uh, overall, people respect Mu Brewmaster, but normally towards the end of the picking phase is where they will ban it. Now they pick it up nice and early, though. So that's going to allow them to uh, have more team fight control. Definitely great hero against the Lycan. Not bad against the Bane either. And uh, Peel gets banned out by VGJ Thunder. They're saying you're going to have to play some other carry against our Lycan this time. Because definitely not a bad matchup for the PL. But overall, the Tanker and the Tide, they were really the the big story of the previous game, I feel. Like they had such a massive impact. Yeah, and, and PL was always kind of afraid. If he shows himself too early, he gets you know blink hexed by Rasta. If he shows himself too late, he's going to get ravaged after the gyro BKB's done. He, he really did find himself in a an awkward position throughout the team fights in that previous game, but you look at that complexity banning out the Undying now, yeah, removing was, another lane dominator from the game. I was reacting to that as well, so just the combination of Bane and Undying would be extremely lane-oriented, but would still provide the, the combination of Lycan and Undying just a lot of stuff to deal with, like we mentioned in the previous game. So they don't want to go up against that again, and understandably so, it's really frustrating to take fights when, you know, you're not really fighting heroes, you're just kind of getting run down by all these different things and you just end up dying. Um, very understandable. So VGJ not uh, not commonly picking up Bane in the first phase, you know, they, they like and Dazzle, they like and Rasta. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't see too much of Bane throughout their previous draft. So. Probably influenced by the group stage that they're playing yeah. right now. We often talk about trends in Dota, not just in the in the big meta kind of thing, where, you know, Battle Fury trend, for instance, mm -hmm. right now, but moreover, just land trends. So right now, this is a land they're playing in the group stage, and... Every team is being heavily influenced by watching each other and seeing what the successful teams are doing and le learning from each other. So there's also the cool adapting fact, like, a little bit. I I, I I never considered this until I went to my first kind of you know decent sized you know, Dota 2 kind of premier LAN. But you know talking to the casters and, and the players there, the screaming that happens at LANs as well. Oh yeah. You, know, you get all the Chinese and NA players coming to Europe, or in this case, you know everyone's moving a lot into of Southeast practice, Asia. So yeah, a everyone lot of practice between the teams that perhaps normally would not scrim. Yeah. Is what happens so at the tournament. Again, like we were talking about yesterday, that kind of dissemination of ideas, the you know hero picks here and there, little little gimmicks or you know strats that people pick up from pubs or scrims, just a different region, different players. You get that you know flavor. It's the flavor of Genting basically that's uh, starting to come out throughout Ten the group stage. Remaining. As we get into the second phase of picks now, Tidehunter, another respect Tide ban from Complexity there. Don't want to give Yang that wonderful little watermelon. That's, uh, you know, the scrimming at LAN events is really how I, uh, how Complexity, uh, they ended up having to, uh, you know, bring me in, of course, because I snuck my way into their practice room and, you know, <laughs> I was sitting there watching games with them and kind of, you know, brain draining them. And then uh, simply beef. He took one look at me. He's like, "You're not leaving with this information. Here's a contract. Sign it." And you know, <laughs> suddenly I'm streaming for complexity now for N over a year. NDA must stream. <clears throat> yeah. So you know, a few things I can't really say about uh, you know about that. But 
it's a good good times. Earth Spirit does get picked up as well here. So that's going to be a very powerful early game combination from VTJ. Also brings in some nice ways to deal with the Brewmaster. The stun and the silence gives sometimes enough time to bring down the Brewmaster. Of course, it can still be hard to guarantee it, especially when the Snowball is around to pick him up. Yeah, that's true. I guess it's also pretty good, you know, when there's a Tusk on a team, we used to always look for, you know, like a Disruptor or something, right? Because you know where the Snowball's going to go, and likely it will have at least one enemy hero inside it, so you get these kind of combos. Earth Spirit can, you know, Boulder Smash, you can get the Magnetize in onto a couple that's of true. heroes. So there's that. He can, he can Boulder Smash away the targets that being Snowballed on. Yeah, that's, that's, get away. That's great. Uh, <laughs> Not, not very common. Get away but, from the snowball. But, but it could happen. Earth Spirit is one of those heroes with crazy potential, right? Mm. He can do so many different things. Um, <clears throat> I'm surprised we haven't seen more OD, actually, as you say this, because uh, throughout all of yesterday, I don't think we saw a single OD game. We saw it banned a bunch. Like Yeah, it was banned. End of second phase or exactly. like, final phase. It's definitely relevant in the scene right now. People are playing it in, in tournaments and scrims, but it hasn't really made an appearance here in any of the nine games we had yesterday and not in the previous game here as well. It feels like oh. teams are very focused on trying to pick OD when it's like a Timber or a DK. And yeah. they feel, I don't know, a bit standoffish about picking OD when there's not one of those <laughs> heroes in the game. He definitely does have quite a few counters is the issue. You know, there's just a casual Nyx and suddenly the game can be a lot more difficult. If you play against the Nyx as OD, you're, you're not going to be too happy. But we're unlikely to see it in this game, but it could be a, an interesting pickup for sure. Adding some, uh, like for VTJ, I think it could be a quite strong hero. Uh, Rasta being picked up by Complexity. And the response is the Dusa. Oh, now, God. I, 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 was, I was wondering, I was literally just like, Medusa is a very VTJ Thunder hero. Mm -hmm. They've got the Lycan ready to maybe create some space on the front lines for the Dusa. But there's a Brew and a Shadow Shaman here, and, and Brewmaster, you know, with the cycle and just sends Dusa up. Yeah. That, that's a fear that VGJ is going to have, right? I, I did not expect this pick at all, because I don't feel like it's even remotely a good hero for them. So I'm very <laughs> I'm very happy to be proven wrong, of course, um, but Brewmaster is the go-to counter. I was saying it earlier when we talked, I think, the uh, day before yesterday, that, in my opinion, Brewmaster is the best hero in the game against Medusa, and by quite large margin because he just cyclones her three times in a row and the fight is you know pretty much had without medusa having any impact and she doesn't really want to buy an early bkb or anything and even if she does buy a lincoln sphere she can still get stunned and cycloned yeah. it's not going to prevent anything um tb going to be picked up here Five by complexity seconds. so that's going to be a pretty nice Pretty nice carry here since he has tons of armor. Hard for Lycan and Medusa to lay into that. And then the um, reflection against Lycan with all the auras as well is pretty nice. It is true, it is true. Um, however, the Mystic Snake is quite good at clearing off the illusions and actually getting mana back for Medusa as well. That's one mm. thing that's sort of nice in the matchup. But other than that, the Sunder is great at bringing down Medusa very quickly. Because if you ever happen to be low HP on uh, Terrorblade, you know, that Sunder is not mitigated by your... By your uh, mana shield or anything like that so a good way to remove all her hp all of a sudden we'll see uh, how that works out they have decent push now on the side of complexity with the remaining. shadow shaman and tb of course same can be said for vgj who have the lycan but Radiant other than that team. not really that much push obviously a farm medusa can push but um, in the early game it's not looking like there's no one to like help the lycan hit buildings early on right <clears throat> no it's mostly just farming securing the lanes making sure that medusa is able to f you know farm ancients and so on later on is going to be their focal point whereas complexity i expect them to just be fighting around the brewmaster a lot and try and have tb on the other part of the map dealing with perhaps lycan split push or something like that well timber tinker banned batrider gone vtj thunder options wise you know, from previous games, they've got like a Doom that they can bring out here potentially, but uh, they're, ru they're running out of really good heroes for the off lane here. Unless unless they do that kind of thing where they go, you know, an aggro dual lane with like in Bane, then they've got like, I don't know, a, a Razor or something, let's say, or a Monkey King to deal with a Brewmaster could, in the 1v1. Could still go Beastmaster. Oh, yeah. It's still a, an option. We saw the Beastmaster Bane combination yesterday, and it worked out quite well. What about Underlord? Um, Underlord is definitely an option. The only tough thing about playing Underlord would be that Rasta hits pretty hard in the laning stage. You could be uh, struggling against a Rasta Terrorblade, but I think... Double Metamorphosis. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, he does have quite a, a nice impact. 
Assassin. Well, they come back with the Templar Assassin. We're seeing again. tons of these games now, Waga. I love it. And uh, complexity, blessed. they're doing it again for me. You know, they picked it yesterday as I was watching. And now they pick it again as I'm watching. They're going to tweet out in a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Waga, yeah. you watching? This is... Here's the Templar Assassin. I'm appreciating it. I'm appreciating it. That seems no. like a pretty good game. You know, you've got like lichen summons to burn through to refraction. But apart from there's, that, what? There's really, yeah, there's really no good refraction killers. Magnet magnetize, you could say, cause it kind of kills the refraction, but very slowly. Okay, they go with Legion. Makes sense now after seeing the, the TA. Legion becomes a little bit better as well. Just uh, being able to turn that damage back onto him with the duel. Decent against the TB illusions. Good against Brew. Just being able to catch the Brewmaster. Yeah. Not but, as good uh, against Rasta as it used to be though. Because you can't press the attack off the Hex. The Hex, yeah. Hex is so scary these days. Especially for heroes like Legion Commander or Abaddon to want to try and remove that from teammates. But looking at the drafts, I must say that I favor complexity. And this is not even about my personal bias. I just didn't like that Medusa pick at all. Mm. I think the Legion is, is a very nice fit here since there's a TB and, and uh, TA. Also, even just duel up the Brewmaster before he ultis. But maybe limited a little bit in damage to go into the duel. Like often we look for, you know, burst damage to yeah, go Yeah, they in. don't have the fastest damage. They don't. So it should be hard for him to get a ton of duel one. Uh, especially since their team, like I said before, is more oriented about farming and having stable performance and not so much chaos. Yeah. Whereas Complexity are looking more more aggressive around their try offlane. And then, well, TA is going to be farming a lot and TB as well. So the two of them are going to be chilling. So but Complexity looking for fights, playing around their TB matter and Brewmaster split mm -hmm. timings, basically. Try and cycle through the Zultis, look for towers. Exactly. Or VGJ... Weather, it really is a lineup that looks like it wants to weather the storm. It is. It's a greedy lineup for sure. But the downside is that down the road after you weather the storm, there's going to be a blink at some point on the Brewmaster. And Medusa needs a ridiculous amount of farm to be able to actually deal with the Brewmaster. She needs Lincolns and BKB pretty much. Even if she has a BKB, the Storm Panda can very easily just send her in the air before she uses it. So we'll see how it goes. Um... But I'm, uh, I'm feeling this could be, you know, could be headed to a game three after this. Well, but we're way ahead of ourselves saying that. I'm, I'm inclined to agree. I, I do like the, the makeup here of the complexity draft. I also like the fact that Z Freak on the Tusk, uh, mm. Shadow Shaman for Kyle, feels a little more natural with their, you know, roll. To... They're kind of weird in the way they do stuff normally. Yeah. yeah. Very often feels like their position four player is playing the position five hero, and you know, the other way around. Um, but they do it the way they feel is best. It's all about personal comfort on the heroes. And uh, Rasta going to fit up nicely for Kyle here. And, of course, Zip Freak on the, on the Tusk. Then you've got the Moo Brewmaster, you know, the classic. He'll be doing decently for himself up on his top lane, Moo it feels Master. like. The Moo Master. Yeah, shout out to Moo's mom. Sure she's watching <laughs> these games on Facebook. On Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to everyone who is watching these games on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, thank you for being part of this and being Good on you. here with us. And also, shout out to anyone who's tuning in on the Dota TV. And uh, hopefully we can provide the best of our abilities here in casting. So, both teams playing pretty tentative here in the pre-creep spawn. But we are going to see three runes going the way of uh, the Dire. VG going to take a rune on Legion Commander. Very nice to get that starting rune for uh, the offlaner, actually. You get that quelling blade up and running quickly so you can pressure farm. Yeah, it's part of that. Nicer. And then, you know, sometimes it can be about getting the magic wand earlier. But I like the build that he's doing here. Tons of HP regen with, uh, you know, 11 tangles at his disposal and Yang. And the salve as well. The pulled tangle making a difference. <laughs> Oh, the big difference maker. I, mean, I, I well, guess they're playing a mid lichen, so they don't really want to pull tangles to him anyway. Not really necessary. He has a, his tangles on his own. Yeah, true. This but time... Were we talking about mid lichen yesterday? Because I remember mentioning it and just saying like it, it never happens. But now we've seen it twice from Scylla, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. We were talking about it yesterday. We were saying how it's not that common, but he definitely could go up against mids, is what we said. And he's doing a good job here. Obviously, Enfeeble is going to help out a lot. And this is nowhere near the same as the... The That's moon. the previous game where Moon played TA against a solo SF. No. This is very different. We have the 2v2 mid. <laughs> See, Freak keeps his clarity going. It's hard for Tusk to help here, though. It's hard to actually provide useful uh, help and not just soak experience. Because you don't really want to be draining experience, right? But he's doing a little bit of help there, just making sure uh, some last hits go the way. 
that he wants. Oh man, I'm spooked. There's action on all three lanes. Yeah, Yang drops low, Mu drops low. Metamorphosis was popped on the bottom Meta lane. used. Yang gets away, mid lane. Continuation of the 2v2. Mu getting gone on again. Fade has the smash and the boulder going in as the brewmaster. A little bit of a body block here, but it looks like he's tanky enough with... Oh, the, oh, the snake, the snake, the snake, the hit. Oh, he's got yeah. it. Fade gets in there, doesn't miss that attack. He even got one one evasion there uh, from the deuce out, right? Like, Elsie would have died faster, but goes down. A little bit too aggressive, perhaps, but looking at the creep downs, he's pretty fine with that as well. Not the worst. Uh, death ever. Yeah, he comes back to lane, he's got double wave under his tower. Gets exactly, he's, yes. he's there in time, gets three out of four of the melee creeps. Pretty good for farm. And uh, DD rune on top for Lycan. That's gonna be a whole lot of the denying when he comes back, I fear. Yeah, good luck, Limp. Yeah. Limp, you better side blade this man. And now with meta down, it means that Yang can maybe play a little more forward, so Z Freak comes down here to help this well, now defensive tri lane deal with the Legion and maybe look for a kill, but this one Observer Ward watches over the path of Z-Freak. He knows it's coming, so these Shackles to start things off will do a decent job at chipping away at Yang. They yeah. need the Z-Freak shards and Snowball. It should be a dead Legion They're commander saving, here. They're saving the Snowball in case of TP. And Holding on for as long as they, they can, but oh, Bane quite. has arrived. Shards do come through. Snowball's still ready, but the, oh. the shock. There we go, Kyle. From downtown. Thank you very much, mates. I'll take that one. Yeah, that is beautiful. That puts him close to boots, actually, and I think you should let him save up for those boots as well, and perhaps not um, not have him buy a ward right now, because boots on Rasta are pretty important to Rasta lane. And uh, as we look at the CS score, 18 for 2, or 8 for 2, sorry, 18 for 2? Uh, 8 <laughs> for 2 on the TA, who's done pretty good despite the the Bane harassing mid. It's all about recovery right oh, now. The, the wolves cancel the clarity. Who feels bad? Yeah, that's a nice little play by uh, by Silar. Here's like Invoker or Lycan on mid lane. Always annoying. Top. Super annoying. Fade is dropping low here. Mu has another clap to go. Oh, uh, does he, he does not have boots though, so up. he's just slowly running after. He wants to buy them in the side shop, but doesn't want to take too much damage while doing so. <laughs> Kama trying to deny that range creep. Finally gets it. So many attacks needed. When you're drunk, it's not easy. It really isn't. So down at bottom lane, they've actually set up Bane and Legion here, doing a few little pulls across, limiting the TP's farm. This is nice from VGJ, uh, the dual lanes across the board, but it does mean that Silar, yeah, here we go, left alone mid with a shard after the snowball means the TP. Successful back to the tier one. Just across the just shards. Just it's so hard to get out of the shards, honestly, with a little bit of bottom blocking and the shards just cutting so, you know, so much of your escape route. It's really hard to get out. The angles. The what angles, man. Cutting? It's hard. But yeah, Sala back back to tier one. Got tangos to go. Yeah. Io back more. to mid as well. Only level one and feeble though, so it's not going to be too bothering for TA once she has the refraction up again. Um, but there it is. There's in feeble. Yeah. So Mu gets a little pull across, stacks up a wave up at top, so he's going to get even more experience coming his way. Level four and three quarters, so... He's doing a great job. Moving and very quickly to six, yeah. I, I would say everyone, every core has pretty much a, an as-expected game right now. No one is having an outstanding game, and no one is having a terrible game. Yeah, Yang does get shackled under his own tower, oh, but a great but boulder Kyle. smash. Kyle is taking all the damage, the aggro is there. Down he goes, now the roll forward, Z-Freak's caught out. Doesn't have any spells left, Shards and Snowball both on a cooldown. The Metamorphosis TV have the, can't the do anything. They have the arrows from the sky, and they even have the Brain Sap. Wow. They can't kill Chessy here, surely not. No, the TP coming in from Rasta means that they'll have to back away. There's no way they're killing him. Medusa actually moving up aggressively there behind the tower on top. That could be troublesome. Yeah, I don't know if he should have done that, but he has magic wand. Mook gives it the old slapper only there. Uh, she up. can't escape that way. There's going to be shards. So she has to go that way to bait out the shards and then turn. Three one charges. Mana shield on, off, backwards <laughs> and forwards. TP out. Nicely played. Yeah, she gets out. To but get out. Exactly. That's the thing. She put herself between the tower and this, why it doesn't hurt as much as dying perhaps, it, it does really hinder your farm now. You're going to miss a lot of experience and gold on your Medusa and you cannot TP back to a lane. It really takes forever to get back now. She is not the fastest of heroes and he's running back to base again? What's happening? He's running back, the courier... Bringing a ward. Bringing a ward. Oh, dude, why did you turn for that? He just wasted like... 20 seconds trying to... <laughs> oh god, dude. That Not is... sure. Well, Backstab coming in mid though. Sila found with the shackles. Limp 
Nice damage from this refraction. They're waiting with a snowball. Silas is not going to land, but Silas is still alive thanks to the boulder smash. Now with the wolves out, Silas turns to fight Z Freak. Will be able to bring him down with the help of Fade, but Silas loses his life as Limp. He's super low, but look at this. Moo has wow. rotated in. Four heroes here, bringing some complexity. Oh, there we go with a grip to finish. Ayo hey, now feeling the pain from the bruise split. Will try and nightmare himself, but no denying possible anymore. Feels bad. Not. Um, and Medusa actually, you know, everything was calculated. The creep wave just barely stayed out of the tower range, so it wasn't actually too late for a lot of the last hits there. <laughs> just barely. Moo with the last second of Primal Split sends Sila up into the air. Yeah, it's such a long duration too, just flying around doing nothing. It looks like they've got this tower. Oh, oh, tower deny! Lycan, the dogs. Sila, god. Uh, beautiful. The it's dogs, what? they do have quite a bit of damage actually. Yeah, at what, this at point, they have 46 damage at level 3, with the level 2 impulse, yeah. that is. It was, it was nicely played by Kyle to get the shackles there, you know, understanding that really the the only way that Lycan can deny this tower is with the hero, right? But no, <laughs> Sila shows them otherwise. Of course, of course. Uh, good timing. And uh, Legion Commander able to be a little bit more aggressive down here on bottom as they, of course, took a lot of a beating there on the mid lane. But they, they got the tower deny, and that's quite big. Not losing too much. Earth Spirit still not really level 6 yet. I feel like they need this uh, before they can really get a kill on the TB. Well, Silo back into oh, the jungle. Running into Moo. Helm. Hello, Moo. Mm, a rotating gets away. Brew comes in with a one hit crit, but like an ulting moving forward to try and play aggressively. They've got Yang with a duel here potentially, but the metamorphosis from Jesse. Damage coming down from on high, but. He's gonna run, he's gonna hide, oh. he's gonna get dueled up by Yang. He has the no damage. Thunder. He can't get out of this one. He is gone, yeah. and a winner over to the Legion as. Complexity might lose Moo here as well. Fade has some spells to throw in. Z Freak has got the kill onto Medusa up on the top lane, but this troll trap into the boulder smash. The damage from the Ether Shock. Yang has fallen. The shackles as well. Bane caught under the tower as they dive for the Brewmaster. Moo has to fall here to make it worth Dear it for VGJ. God. But Kyle's Everything doing so dying. much damage. Look at him go. They are finally get the Bane. A nightmare in onto Kyle. Now chase him in. No back away. Run and hide. Get away from this tier one because the TB has started to arrive. Our spirit needs to roll out, needs to get away, and he does. Wow, that was crazy and so good for VG Thunder. They even got the dual win. Sure, they lost the top tower. Meanwhile, T was to split pushing, but still getting the dual win on the TBI. I didn't expect him to die that qu uh, quite that quickly. Yeah. But Lycan doing the damage. He and, got slammed. Uh, that was some beautiful activation of their of their core heroes. You know, they got. Some really good rotations, and that almost got the entire level 6 for Earth Spirit. That's pretty big. Medusa did die top as well as that tier 1, so... Not having the best of games here on the Medusa. 3k net worth or so, even with a TB. So it's pretty... Pretty balanced there across the net worth of these heroes from side to side, and that's, that's pretty much just shown in the, you know, the net worth lead is pretty much nothing yeah. for VGJ Thunder. As they have lost their mid tier 1, their top tier 1, and now will really have to start thinking about how they take objectives themselves with this Lycan because he wants to go and make things happen now. Exactly, they do. And this is sort of what we expected as well, that the the Tusk, Brewmaster, Rasta, they're all trying to fight together. Meanwhile, TA just split pushing and TB, well, in this case, he was the one being jumped on, but he really just wanted to be farming Zip Freak. Oh, there's a, there's a Fiend script waiting for you if you walk up a little bit too far. But he gets out safely. Not gonna get jumped quite yet. There's a red dot. I, I I don't know. There's a red it's dot a, it's on the a, map. It's an Earth Spirit Stone. Okay. Kicked. Like kicked what? Under. What? What is it? Why <laughs> is it there? Why can't I see it? It's, it's off next, the map. Next level high ground ward. <laughs> yeah. I can see everything. It's it's very confusing. I had a game where we had like Earth Spirit and uh, TA and Broodmother oh. in the same team. So there were just red dots everywhere, and I played a TA. So it was really frustrating because I didn't know where my traps were. Because all of them look the same on the minimap, right? So, so you're clicking webs and looking at yeah, stones. Yeah, like, god damn it, where are my things? Oh, that is super annoying. Uh, very hard to keep track of, actually. It worked so, completely against us. Silar again with the Hellbear. It seems that he has a very particular way. He likes to play this Lycan oh. with the Hellbear Smasher. A great little roll into Silent Stun into the grip. And Mu dispatched. That was a beautiful roll in by Fades. Yeah. He just landed that one beautifully. And top, they're trying to do something, but they can't reach Yang. Picture perfect there from VGJ. Getting Yang out of danger top, dodging the trap as well as bringing down this tier one down at bottom. Medusa, 
Oh, the Spotted war trap, there. they're going they for a Legion commander. The Legion with the shackles as well. Fade now, slow to the trap. Limp going in with a Mel Strike ready. Damn Fade it. has nothing left to give, and he's gonna die. Uh, they don't even need to use anything. Just dead. Wow, those are some really massive kills. They're gonna get a tower with it, using those Rasta wards to get a kill in Legion, and then getting to push the tower with the catapult as well around. I'm not sure they're gonna get the entire tower if everyone rotates, but Limp seems like a... they're just giving it up. Yeah, Limp has a Blightstone here. Yeah, he's oh, adding quite a bit of pressure. A bit annoying, but... Okay, they are defending it. Enough money for Blink here for the Limp TA. Very important. This is all, oh, not even a tower deny. He held his Rasta wards for the catapult mm -hmm. attack. Kyle, giving himself a well played. <laughs> Good job, Kyle. <laughs> oh, classic Americans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Americans. Well, Chessie gets That's at beautiful. least a little bit of uh, breathing room here, right? The bottom lane not going really as he would have liked. It went okay for a bit, but things quickly got out of hand as Lycan rotates in and Bane comes along. Yeah, definitely. So. He he did only die once, though, so it's not the worst early game as well for a Terror Blade. Um, but we'll see if uh, more pressure is going to be added here by VGJ. They're kind of moving towards the top part of the map, wondering if they want to take one more Tier 1 tower. Looks like that's... Man, there's one Earth Spirit Stone that's even, like, outside of the frame of the minimap right now. Do you see The it? one at bottom, that's, that's the one no, I was talking about. Yeah, e even lower than that one. Like, you see in the, like, down to the left of that, there's one more. Like, oh, there it died. <laughs> Never mind. It's gone. Yeah. But yeah, there, there was one, like, down here somewhere that... Mm -hmm. I saw, I saw that one. Away. All right, where are we now? Blink, I saw, is nearly up on Moo, but, oh, wow, Yang has one as well. So we're going to get the Offaline is having Blink soon. The Lycan's ready to fight. The TB Metamorphosis is down for one minute. So VGJ have this kind of perfect sweet spot to oh, go and Kyle hit. Kyle has with to be careful. Timing. Shadow Shaman has been... He does have a ward, so he, he sees them. He just doesn't want to step oh, too but close. They've jumped onto the TA instead. The grip is there with Magnetize, and Limp has given himself over to the dark side. Come on, Limp. Uh, he saw them moving, and that's, that's a sloppy death. He shouldn't die like this. He definitely saw them. I mean, Kyle was baiting that they might try and go on top, but they should understand that they can they can just move over there as well. So a uh, little bit of a mispositioning there by him. It was the lag. It was lag. Yeah, it was the lag for sure. So VGJ now. Oh, oh God! Jesus Christ uh, above <laughs> every single player. Um. Hopefully the game doesn't like auto close this. <laughs> no, no, it's. I guess it doesn't do that anymore. There was a time when that still happened in official <laughs> games. If everyone DCs at the same time, and just defaults, default win to radiant. I think it is, or something. What happens? Do you remember weird. the time? I think it was when Demon was on EG. Oh God! Look at <laughs> Zephyr is like, hello. <laughs> Can we, we back? back out? Back out of what? You're not gonna die. It's fine. Oh dear. Oh no. But it's not fine. It's not. No, it's not fine. Actually. But yeah, there was, a, there was a time when Demon was on EG or something, and they had an extended pause, you know, like 10, 15 minutes. Someone was getting DDoSed or some shit back then, right? And uh, one of the teams is like, are you ready? And Demon, you know, wants to say go. So he types G, G, double taps <laughs> the G by accident. Yeah. And he pressed enter, but they're still in the pause. So he didn't realize anything was happening. And then Fear is like, no, wait one second. <laughs> so they didn't actually resume. But... Because he typed GG, the counter was still going 10, 9, 8 <laughs> during the pause, and the game just ends, and everyone's like, What? Do not unpause. The admin has made a, an executive decision here that this is not stable playing situations. <laughs> Go try. Hell, Please bro. wait. Confirmation. Yeah. Probably better to, uh, to, to just try it if both teams are ready. Ad can test admin us. said, Wait, I believe you listened to your admin. <laughs> 100 ping? It's so funny how 100 ping seven years ago used to be sick. This is legit. I've got no lag. Yeah. And now it's like, I don't have 15 ping. Excuse me? Yeah, we're, we're spoiled these days. I mean, I go, really to, the, I go to the US to, uh, to stay with my girlfriend, obviously, and then playing team, uh, I play scrims and tournaments in Europe from the US. So doing that consistently on 140, 145 is what I get then. It, it's just around the my... My threshold. threshold, yeah, yeah. that's the—that's really my pain tolerance for ping. I think if it was like 180 or something, I would be like, Ugh. so 140 is like around, you know, a second, a second and a half. It, it, it's not quite that, but it takes a little bit less. Uh, but it, it's all right. Um, 
it is frustrating for every single uh, last hit and so on, though. Mm. Every single spell usage. First game I played when I got to the US, my captain picks me Puck. I'm like, please see Masochist. Why, why are you doing this? <laughs> like, he, he does stuff like that to himself, but he doesn't have to do it to me. Kill our Tusk. Oh, are you gonna kill our Tusk? Leave the poor Tusk alone. Yeah, come on. Go when ready. Are they gonna murder him? Oh, they're going. They're trying to murder him. Snowball. Yang has they, the They want that duel. duel win. They don't care. They sure do. Bye-bye. Z Freak up. A top lane. Hello. What's happening here? Hex in the shackles. Silo's been caught. He's been found with a TP and the damage coming in from Mu. They baited this one out. Oh, the pause has led to a nice little victory there for Complexity. Yeah. Yeah, they get get the bigger return kill there. There was a duel win, at least, for uh, VGJ. I feel sad for your Tusk. Come on, man. The poor little Tusk. Are they moving into Roshan now? Yeah, they are. They're posting up for it, and they do have the Metamorphosis as well if there's a fight. Brewmaster Ulti, of course, available too. Legion, though, Invis here. And they don't quite know it. There's no detection. This could be disastrous. There's the sentry, but I don't think it's gonna see anything. He's gonna go in with Yang. He's just waiting to blink in. Well, Mu is creating space now. Cyclone the Dusa. Yang goes in. He's not gonna snatch it though. The limp ATA gets the Aegis as the silence does come out from Fade, but. It's the Moo Brew that's taking down AO. Bane gone. Fade TP's out. And Karma in a oh, bit of trouble here. Lift. Another Cyclone again this from Moo. Finds the Deuce into the Hex and the CC into damage from Complexity. It's really well played. That sequence of events, though. That's one of the things that I was mentioning right in the draft. Why I see it as the hardest counter to Medusa in the game. It is not fun to be a Medusa because you can just get held in place forever. And Medusa does not have a good escape when she lands. You can force that. That's it if she has a hurricane pike which she does not so uh so far there's no escape for her if she gets caught by the lift she's most likely gonna die or just be irrelevant for the entirety of the fight at least and they're gonna push for a tier 2 tower here they have a little bit of metamorphosis duration still but they should be careful about this if they want to stay alive on complexity yeah like in low has shape shift yang has the blink duel Really unfortunate he didn't get the steal there on uh, Yang. He tried, he was standing there and had vision from the wolf the entire time, but they were fast at taking the, the Aegis yeah, with the TA. Super close though. But both him and the Earth Spirit went in, so makes me wonder if Earth Spirit maybe could have rolled first and did a stun, or if Legion should have dueled and, you know, Earth Spirit takes the... Oh well. Well, Legion gets saved by the Earth Spirit this time into the quick duel onto Kyle. A quick and easy kill there, and Z-Freak has put himself in danger as well, so from some perfect moves of complexity into a very messy one there, thinking Legion was all out on her own, but she had teammates behind her. Uh, the two supports really just overstaying their welcome a little bit here on the mid lane, and uh, now they're probably going to lose a tower as a result of this. And meanwhile, they're of course farming on the other sides, but that was quite a bit of damage. Dual wins they really do stack up. In the end, you don't want to give away these easy kills. Because I saw this as a game where Legion is going to struggle to get dual wins. Here she is, 30 damage at minute 16 is not bad. That's a good start. It's insane to me. Yeah. Like we're looking at the lack of nuke damage, but somehow Yang has found the right targets at the right time. It is actually quite incredible, but they've used the Lycan quite a bit. So whenever she duels someone, Lycan just runs in and basically swipes them down. Oh, and, uh, Limp, here. Limp is going to find out that his stack has gone, stolen yeah. by VCJ Thunder, oh, and the, the TP away. Beautiful TP out there as well by Legion Commander, getting out to safety. And this all buys a ton of space for the Medusa now. Top lane pushes yeah. it all the way out towards tier 1. Complexity very kind of focused in the bottom third of the map. That's the kind of thing that Medusa generally wants, and the thing that I expected VG to kind of struggle with providing for her, but those... Nice uh, kills there on mid, where they pounced in and just uh, found Kyle and... Oh, Kyle walking in here confidently, but there is a shrine. You should always respect walking up and fighting around that area, because it, it could go poorly for you, even if you do have an Aegis TA. Kyle respecting his opponents? No. <laughs> no! He was, uh, More respecting the shrine, yeah. not the opponents. <laughs> he was very bold moving there. Now the smoke coming in. Serpent Ward's down on the tier 1. It is dropping very quickly, but look at Complexity, they've just dropped the wards and run. Yep. I mean, the wards are going to get cleaned up though and going to get farmed oh, by the Medusa stamina. here. And she does get the deny as well, so that's pretty big. They are cutting behind here, but TB scouting with illusions. 
Uh, I don't know if he wants to run this way. Oh, Jesse. hello, Chessy. Instant silence. Where's the roll? The duel oh. will come now. Brew arriving in with Moo, getting the big split off. The damage they coming out. Chessy's still alive. Sunder ready. Can he get it off in time? He can indeed. Fade will drop. Now Silo has to get into battle. Chessy with Magnetize on him. He's dropping low. Doesn't have a Sunder left to go. Yang does take a fall, but the Medusa has arrived. Z Freak, what can he do in the middle of all this fight? He can't do anything. Ripped apart by Silo, and finally the Cyclone will come out. But VGJ, the damage has Beam already script. been dealt, and you're right. AO gets it. Done. All now the hex. the hex. Kyle saves the day. Is there a stun to stop his TP or just the well, damage from Bane Sap? Uh, he even had the nightmare as well. If he somehow had too much HP, he would have been just stopped as well. Beautiful turnaround there. First a little turnaround the, the other way, right? Complexity with the Sunder yeah. and the play, trying with the Brewmaster ulti. But in the end, it is VGJ who are just stronger. This Lycan is really working out great for them in all these fights. And meanwhile, Medusa was farming quite a bit, but then she came in towards the end and just had a an easy team fight in Max front top of her. Of, top of net worth now. Yeah. Look, look at this Medusa go yeah. from uh, from pretty much no game to the best game of her life. Hurricane Pike and Mom all completed. And Lycan must have Necro three by now, right? Oh, he's super close. Yeah, he's very very close to finally having it, and uh, that, that's an okay timing. Like perfect would be some somewhere around 15, 30, 16 minutes to get it, but. With the way he has played, he has helped out so much. He's been part of 13 kills out of the 16 ones in his team. So it's understandable that his timing is not super fast because, you know, farming does provide more gold than going for all these kills for yourself. But it's more about creating space for your teammate. I, I was a big fan when I first saw this build start to come out of a, a bunch of Chinese players going bootsless on Lycan with the safe lane, you know, just Helm Rush, Necro, uh, Pipe or BKB or AC or something like that. And then, you know, boots would travel later. But I love this treads on the mid Lycan from Sila coming out quickly, like treads into Helm. The attack speed you get with your ulti form, he's slaying everyone. As it comes out, you know, as often in Dota, it depends entirely what kind of a situation you're in. If you just want to free farm him as a carry, then yeah, I, I prefer the bootsless build as well, because that's simply faster at getting yeah. the items that you need to take towers. But this build is just, first of all, to last it against the TA on the mid lane, needed the treads, and then later on, He's going to be able to kill so much more if he has the treads when he's fighting so much. TA Desolator now, 20 minutes in. It's a, it's a pretty late timing. This is like one of the later timings that you will be still sort of fine with. Anything later than 20 minutes is going to be really a struggle town. But, um, but you know, he had a tough, tough early laning stage and a lot of these fights have not gone the way they needed it. Still though, decent. Like, he has... Uh, the potential to impact the game now with the Deso and Blink combination. Especially with that Moo Blink dagger on Brew. There's a blade mail on the Legion Commander though, who wants Ooh. more than 30 dual damage. Oh, very quick snowball. Well, the Serpent Wards get dropped on top of the Legion. Winner. The Z Freak is already gone. TB metamorphosis into the Fiend Script, though the Bane has caught him. Chessy, oh, Sila jumps in, but he's going to run out. No, he goes back onto the target. Down goes the TB. Buybacks are available. Tusk has forced his out. But with the stone gaze dealt, it looks like complexity don't really have much oh, left in the tank and the brew win got already. caught with a stone gaze. And I think that's the fight ending. That was a very big win for them already. The fact that they got the dual win is just, you know, a little bit of added sugar on top, but the fiend script was beautiful there. Nothing could really stop it. TB goes down quickly to the disable that they had. They got some massive kills and so now they can back out. The buyback was forced. They don't need to even push a tower to translate this into into a big win. Um, and that, that was without the ether lens on Bane as well, right? It was just good positioning in general there. He was... Cast he range talent, but... Yeah, the wind lays, wind lays along with mana boots and he's quite fast. And again, look at this. He just feasting right now. Yang is playing so good in this series. Okay, I, I don't often like doing this, but we were wrong about the Legion. Yeah, didn't expect it to get so many kills, but uh, it's, it's worked out. They, they've made it work really well. I didn't expect them to get uh, so much out of a Lycan and Jewel combination, Yeah, but that actually has been a big component in how uh, she got a lot of the early dual kills. And now, of course, she has the Blade Mail, she has the Blink and so on. So now she can kind of kill someone. It. Yeah, she can kind of kill someone on her own. So I don't know if I want to say like it was only VG or if it was complexity maybe underestimating a little bit and getting caught out as well. Oh, definitely a bunch of factors in there. Limp jumps away from the Lycan, but VTJ again grouping up, knowing that Roshan could be spawning now with the fastest one, but it's going to be three minutes, one of the well, <laughs> the longest spawn pretty much for Roshan to come back up, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. 
Not gonna be a fast one. So they'll have some time to kill as they now look for the limp. TA Yang. Uh, they're thinking about it. He's like, can I go here? He had a lot of good wards with Vision there. Maybe he could have gone on the Rasta, but perhaps also the Brewmaster would be there with the blink in. The Brew ulti was just coming off cooldown. Oh, Collar being pinged out. I think VGJ know that a smoke play is about yep. to happen. Yeah, they're already seeing the way they're moving. Very indicative of a uh, smoke. And uh, they didn't deward the Observer already timed out just next to him now. So just no, they, barely they, provided they the did. vision needed. They, they have a gem and they killed it with a quelling blade. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah, cause the I, I, uh, the okay. hundred gold thing popped up. That's the only reason. Oh, then uh, then at least they're gonna be aware that the enemy are aware, kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, VG are doing the correct play, I believe, smoking up as well and looking to go and fight. Surprised they didn't claim that high ground already. They're sticking around mid. Probably debating if they should just push down mid and force them back, or I, if they should have gone up. Yeah, I guess there's nothing really to gain top. There's no tier two. Uh, pressure onto tier 3 would be annoying, well, but... Yeah, sort of, but now they're gonna fight up high ground here afterwards. Which can be difficult, but they're conceding the high ground. Well, there's the initiation in. Snowball will save the Tusk for now. Back oh, onto the, the Deucer, but Brewmaster can't do anything. That stone gaze means he has to turn tail and run. And now Chessy in with a reflection, but look at Fade from the low ground, the three-man crush. Now the Fiend's grip, not sure what it caught there. I think a Centaur, but a good duel will salvage this fight for VGJ. Oh, it's messy. Very, very messy battle. Yang surviving barely the skin of his teeth. The Serpent Wards get him. As in comes Mu, and down he goes. Limp, oh. the only one to survive there. Yeah, they're just being overrun in these fights. They're really struggling to deal with the run-in from the Lycan. And even if they have the Brewmaster ulti out, it seems like they just can't stop everyone. Because they kind of want to lift the Lycan, but they also want to lift the Medusa. And still, there's that Yang Legion Commander who's absolutely massive in this game. Sure, his net worth is uh, the lowest of the cores, but the impact he's having is tremendous. Yeah, it's been huge. I, I'm pretty sure the Bane Nightmare are a not hero. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. There are so many things being done in that fight. I couldn't quite uh, throw your spells in, boys. Focus on the Bane. I was also looking at the the chase of the fire. The fire brewling was chasing down to the right side, kind of chasing down someone else. There's a lot of things happening at once. Limp gets the hell out of bottom lane, moving into an Orchid now. So no defensive tools, no Lincolns, no BKB, anything like that. Going straight into more damage and control. Yeah, the silence is good, but there is still, you know, good defensive spells to be used. The press the attack is very good, of course, for removing it. And the Nightmare can still kind of deter TA from continuing and killing that one target. I oh, guess it's it, not a great BKB game, though, and that's kind of why. Yeah. And then there's lots of things to... Well, I guess there's what? Lincolns, Enfeeble, Nightmare, but Grip and Duel are the big ones. Yeah. Lincolns would be good for her, for sure. But I think now that you're going for the Orchid, you pretty much have to go back, most likely, for a BKB at some point, because of the Earth Spirit still. Mm. Uh, That's true. But he might just skip it entirely and go for damage. Just go raw damage and try and rely on Mu and Chessy to tank up some of these spells. S Siler, man, doing good damage to his Roshan here, but... A little bit uh, shorted in. Managed to run out though. Chessie's illusions get the vision they need. Try and clear up the necro books. Oh, nice that's nice done. money. 200 gold for killing that one. Good stuff. VTJ, this time they hold the high ground. Biding yeah. their time. They didn't complexity. even need the high ground there. They just took it when they wanted it. They ran in with Lycan and the high ground is theirs. Well, wow. Z Freak spotted, found, killed. <laughs> I like how he rolls out again. He's like, I'm out. Did my job. Beautiful. They didn't duel for him as well, so they still have that available. And they're going on to Yang. Oh man, can they save the. Yes, they can. Yang Legion still alive with the glimmer and the help now. The Fiend's there it to is. duel. Goodbye, Chessy. Dead for a minute. TA not available in this fight. VGJ just absolutely slaughtering complexity at this point, running rampant through on a radiant lineup as Tile. They're playing so good. They're actually skill. just doing absolutely amazing here. But also, I feel complexity, they need to be faster at just giving up that um, Roshan after you lose Z-Freak there. Or, uh, like, yeah, Z-Freak. Sorry. Confusing when one player yeah. plays Tusk in the previous game and then and another stops. one in the same team plays, <laughs> plays Tusk this game. But yeah, got it right. They, they should just have um, abandoned a little bit faster there. Now they end up losing basically everyone apart from TA, and they lose Duel, and they lose Roche. It's just all coming apart, and that was the cheese as well. Uh, that sure was.
really, really tough stuff to deal with. And now you have this Earth Spirit holding Kyle's gem and de-awarding all these Observer Wards as well. As yeah, we without, so. without any vision, it's closing in on that time when you're going to be forced to sit in base again. Oh, wow. The duel. Night. Yeah. Not even a chance to survive the blade mill. At this point, Legion is so strong that she can basically solo kill any single hero on the side of Radiant, and she even had Bane helping, so... And then with the BKB, she's going to be unstoppable in the next fight. Exactly, she can just run in and force the issue on whichever target she wants to duel. That target is pretty much dead. Top, trying now on Medusa, but she has Aegis. Not going to be simple. Serpent Wards in. So a lot of damage. Maybe the first life will go. Yeah, no the... wand or anything like that, so Medusa dead now. Earth Spirit, you need to save me! Where is my Earth Spirit? Well, oh, it looks like give Complexity up. give up, realizing that the movement from VGJ Thunder has been swift and decisive, and they That's... were moving in for a fight. It's a wise move to just back up there, because they had cooldown on some of the Rasta spells still, and better to just get the Aegis and back out, not lose anything, than to try and overcommit and get the kill. Because they might get the kill, but then they would probably all die to Lycan just running them down and duel again coming in from behind. Well, here comes Lycan down the middle lane. Sila playing the carry. Shifts it into the next gear, takes down another tier two. As they move up towards top and look for that one up there. Kyle, nice little job there. Shoving out this wave, making sure there's no easy transition for VGJ to just swing from one lane to another. But it seems... I'm surprised that Silo prefers the CDR on Lycan, by the way, as opposed to the 8 HP region. Of course, that 8 turns into like 20 or something when yeah. you pick it, right? So you could have a monstrous amount of HP region, but the CDR doesn't feel that strong. 12% is not that much, but he is using his ulti quite often, and suppose since he goes for a shapeshift duration, once he's level 20, that's when it starts being worth having the CDR and the duration together. And I guess having the cooldown reduction on Necrobooks, BKB, yeah, pretty handy as well. It becomes quite handy, but but overall, it's it's basically just for um, for shape shift and and the Necrobook yep. and howl to a smaller degree. But look at this, oh, the, the net. He, he should take one of these catapults, right? Take it. Does he he doesn't like he just doesn't like catapults. He really I swear. does not. Does he have a catapult anywhere? I don't think so. Right? He likes Hellbear smashes. Come on, Silo, you you're a. <laughs> You're a Lycan with Assault Curas and Helm of Dominator and you don't want a catapult? Like, it's insanely powerful next to you. It actually uh, not, makes me I mean, they have, scratch my head they, a little they, bit. They have pressed the attack on the catapult as well, remember? They do! Like, the catapult would be hitting harder than Medusa or Lycan in this push. He yeah, actually would. I mean, he, he, he doesn't have a... Unless he's got a Helm Creep bottom lane or something. I mean, the, the split push is coming. TP, Limp, and Chessy oh, onto the racks. They are pushing incredibly quickly here as watch bottom lane. No fight kicking off just there. They will get a kill down up towards... Or up towards top as Sila brings one down. But Yang jumps in. BKB Blade Mail. Not find a target just yet. Limp ripped up. And here we go with a duel. No, it's on cooldown, but they'll get the kill anyway. Limp falls. Rax and Brewmaster ulti used to defend against the Lycan as well. So Lycan got shackled up by the Rasta, but used his Necrobook and his Wolves just to kill the Rasta during it because he had his <laughs> ulti going. So all his units has that 40% crit, which is insane. Like, like or the 200% 200 damage on a 40% chance crit, I should say, which is pretty insane. All the creeps just hit so hard. It's the pretty entire, funny. The entire Serp zoo. Serpent Wards as well were spent top lane to try and defend. Mm -hmm. I mean, Complexity come out of that trade structurally even, but TA dying again. I, I guess when you're behind like this, yeah. it doesn't feel so bad. The downside is that the cooldowns are already up again, right? And here we see potentially another pickoff. Going very, for the Tusk. Gonna be hard to survive quick. for that one. You can try Snowball, but <laughs> death is inevitable. Let's see if Freak takes a tumble Legion there. is looking for a pick somewhere else as well. Rasta, going to be the target if he comes up a little bit too far. But Legion! Hello. Hello, Kyle. Oh, good, goodbye, Kyle. And that's very close to all she wrote, I believe, but they're still trying to hang in there. They have the buybacks, but I think they're going to have to use some. Yeah, Tusk spends his. Looks like Shadow Shaman might have to get himself out of the grave as well with some lovely coin. Kyle. Yeah. 
Well, you can't prevent the Mega Creeps from happening, pretty much. Well, Terra Blade arrives. He wants to fight. In jumps Limp, trying to get some damage in through Karma onto the back lines with the side blade splash. But they found the Lycan. Cheese not available. Buys his full BKB. But VGJ Thunder, they've done the damage. They've killed the Rax. Now they jump in to look for kills. They've got the two-man stun with the Magnetize as well. Fade has caught them, and it looks like they've killed them as well. Moo, not a chance in hell. It's Buy back over. available, but GG has been called. Yeah, uh, very well played by VG in this game. I mean, Complexi, I don't even think that they played that bad uh, in this series. It was just that VG, they played one step ahead. And uh, for sure, they're looking like they were the continuers here. And uh, I must say, they, they picked Lycan twice. They made it work twice. And uh, it, it's painful to go down that way. You know, that's a hero that a lot of teams will first ban just out of respect or fear for the pushing power and the early game power that it provides. But in the end, complexity. They have a tendency to sometimes be a little bit stubborn about things. They're mm -hmm. like, no, we can deal with this. Uh, this is, you know, a Kyle approach sometimes. And sometimes it, it, it can be useful, but it makes it hard to watch two games in a row of getting like and like this. Yeah, it sure does. So that means complexity done. VGJ move on. And we have one more series today, Waga. Fnatic up against Vici Gaming, which will be the opponents of VGJ Thunder. The, so the other the, Vici Gaming. Yeah. The, so the potential is, if Vici Gaming win their series next, we have the... Uh, Brother-sister matchup again, yeah. The Vici Gaming. That's going to be uh, interesting, but we'll see if they can first take down Fnatic. Fnatic are definitely an interesting team to watch. I don't think that they're going to be an easy opponent for them. Absolutely. So we'll take a short break. Our final best of three of the day coming up in just a little bit.